What's up guys, it's Misha with Winnie Designs and today we're doing an experiment. So we posted a video on TikTok and on Instagram about insulating around your windows and it got over 7 million views already. So I wanted to take it a step further. Some people were debating about putting fiberglass insulation there. That is just straight up wrong. This does nothing. I'm telling you, it does nothing. You're supposed to be using this window and door foam insulation to go around it. The reason and the only reason people don't do it is because this is seven dollars a can and you need about one per window. But that's not what we're talking about today. The other part of the conversation was about using the gap and crack foam to go around your windows. If you use it around your windows, everybody said that it would warp your windows, it would break them, it would, I don't know, bend them in half. People got crazy about that. So that's what we're going to be testing out today. We're going to put this gap and crack insulation, foam insulation, all around that. I'm going to pack this tight. I'm gonna keep my window closed and we're gonna come back here in 24 hours and see what happened to our window and unpack it. Typically, you have a window casing that comes out, like window frame that comes out here. We're not going to do that because if I was doing this on a new build, this is the part that I would come in and insulate it. Right now, come insulate that and then you can do all your trim. So that's what we're gonna be testing out. We're gonna put this great stuff, spray foam around that. I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm curious to see it as well. If you're gonna stop watching the video right now, don't do that, like, because I don't know what's going to happen. So watch the video all the way through. If it's something that you do enjoy in this whole experiment, please make sure to subscribe. We're gonna be doing more and more things like this just so we can learn with you and maybe teach some people on the way. So let's go. All right guys, here it is. We're gonna put our gap and crack foam in here and uh, let's see what happens. All right guys, so we're here, it's the next day. Uh, we had about 20 hours of curing time for our phone. So right now we're gonna see what happened. What we're going to be looking for, can our window open and close? Did a crack, did a damage? Let's see what happened. Bang! So it's just basically what I expected. It made a bit of a mess, but that's because I absolutely filled that cavity with it. It wasn't like a little bead of bead that I went around. It was an, uh, you know, I did a lot of it. So this opens nice and easy. This is a cheap $60 window I got at Lowe's. So this is not like your strongest windows you could buy anyway. Uh, we don't see any cracks in the corners, anything like that. Window opens nice and easy. Um, so really, it's just made a bit of a mess. I think if I did have some, you know, your window jams or anything like that, maybe you would get a little bit of warpage. But this foam goes where there is no resistance. So it would just kind of come out the cavity anyway. Um, so again, if you have the option, get the window and door one just to be on the safer side. It's a little more flexible to allow for, you know, the house movement and all that stuff. But this stuff, um, you know, all you have to do now is just take a blade, cut the wind, you know, cut the foam out here, and then it's, it's done fine. So 